remember there was a huge hype for this book and I don't think there's been a hype this massive ever since because of that crazy marketing campaign where John and his brother were signing each book because they were popular on the internet and I mean I have tons of signed books but somehow that one was special. Looking back on The Fall of North Stars I have two very strong memories. The first one being that for me to get that book it was a fucking mission because it was delivered but we weren't at the apartment we were in school so we had to hike all the way to the post office but because we were students and we didn't have like mail coming to the apartment often it was like Chelsea had to vouch for me that I lived there and we get this book and they almost lost the package and it was just this there was a snowstorm like it was a nightmare and so we decided because we had fought for this book so hard that we would record me opening it and we would vlog about it. It's not just an anglerfish, it says anglerfish. <laughs> and I got what was referred to as the ducklerfish. It was one of the first Hank anglerfishes that Hank had drawn and he kind of fucked it up and he wrote beside it, it's a ducklerfish and to this day it warms my heart. But anyways, the book came out and I got it and it was really good. Like I'm not usually a contemporary medical drama type of person, but it was really good. But then there was the filming incident. We we're like, okay, we've got to get this review out. We want to do it as soon as possible. We're in school. We've got essays, but this review needs to happen. I caught the Norwalk virus. And I just remember her under her bed trying, because the, the joke of the review was we were trying, we only had the one copy of the book and we were trying to steal it back and forth and just watching her fade away under her bed and being like, oh no, she, she caught the bug that's going around campus. I tried to film through it and I did. I got all the way through it, but man, did I look rough. <laughs> I was sweating, I was nauseous, I was uncomfortable, I did not know what was happening to me. <laughs> it was just so bad. And oh boy, by the end of that was I sick and we had to refilm the whole thing. And that is how I learned that sometimes you can power through things, but it's not gonna work. <laughs> no. Sometimes you just gotta let it go and try again on a better day. <laughs> I think another reason this review holds a special place in my heart is because it's a time capsule of our apartment from university. I can go back and I can look at it and be like, that was my life yeah. for a while. That apartment was such a great apartment. It was under the kitchen table that we assembled, that we, no, that was left there, I think, by the previous tenants. And they're like, you want this table? And we're like, yeah, yeah, we want this table, thanks. <laughs> and then the chairs that were from Ikea. That I, I messed up setting <laughs> And they were, at, they were like $30 and you could tell. So like The Fault in Our Stars has a very special place on the internet because of John Green and Vlogbrothers and just we wanted to be part of the online community so bad. And we were and we are still. We're still here. <laughs> but like that was I think the first hype event that we participated in. Yeah. That was the first time we were like, okay, we're getting on this hype train and we're riding it to the top. That was the first time where we're like, we got to do this right away. The book is out. Every book that we had reviewed up to that point had been out for a while or it was just something that we were interested in. This was the first time we're like, trends, trends, <laughs> trends. <laughs> We've since moved away from that. I mean, yeah. we try and get on our trends, but now we're like, Mm. But yeah, it was a good book and it was well worth the hype. Yeah. And we're glad we went through that experience. <laughs>